Hey, Woodlanders, come on in. Miserable job of cutting these pallets up. I never thought to bring my circular saw. So I've got this. So a little job sorted out. So I've had this mad bonkers idea. In an effort to try and use up some of my debris I keep collecting. Fence panel there. I'm thinking if I can hang that I just wanted something to swing in the wind really. So I've got those. I sort of hope that it'll swing in the wind really. That's the theory. I just want to create this, this area here to be a little bit more enclosed. What I'm fearing is I'm more likely to keep storing junk. So that's what I am battling against, my own tendency to keep collecting more and more rubbish. Don't want to do that. I'm a cleanse. I've been attacked by killer insects here. So I think I've been walking around with a cobweb on my head for a while. <laughs> so if you notice the cobweb, <laughs> that made you smile. Um, I mean, it's not quite level really. I mean, in actual fact, it'd be better if it was lower, wouldn't it? So this is turning into something bigger than I wanted. So I put these turnbuckles on, because that seemed to work. And then I thought, oh, it's still not working very well. So then I thought maybe I could sprag a pole across there, strengthen it and hang it on that, forget all the turnbuckle thing. And then I thought, oh, why not put a couple of little Godfather style posts in the bottom so it can sort of, panel can sit on a bit lower. Because I was keen to get it lower than it looked because it still didn't look right. Anyway, half an hour's job. I'll be here all afternoon on this now. The theory is, when it's done, it's done. That looks better, doesn't it? I'm touring with rather than fixing it solid is put it on the wire and I can just unhook it if it's in the way. That's not too bad, is it? It's a bit Heath Robinson around the edges. But uh, stand back. What do you reckon? Do I get a thumbs up for that? Do I get a like, a comment, and a subscribe for my little budget DIYs? This is the opposite side. All I've done is got some high tensile wire and put it on that and leveled it across. And to be honest, this is not too bad at that. It's a little sneak peek into the wood store. Just zipping back to the APF. I thought I'd show you some of the haul I got. So I got some trousers recommended to me by Murray. Fit really well actually to see how they can stack up the longevity or longevity, depending on how you say that. Then I bought me some um, some new boots, and they certainly do fit better than 
the uh, the Mendel ones. Mendel ones are just a little bit too tight on my feet, and they get uh, they go a little bit tingly in the winter. Popped into Masses the other day, which is our local DIY shop. Stock steel and Husqvarna equipment, and I bought some Aspen fuel. Blimey, that's gone up again. So when I first started buying Aspen, I used to buy it in the little five litre containers and they were 19 99 each. And then I found out that you could get 25 litres in a can. So I would buy those and they were about 84 pounds, 84, 86 pounds each. Uh, and within just over 12 months of getting those barrels, they've gone from 86, let's say, they've shot up to 106. So to me, that's gone up by about 20 odd percent. Um, so that's another cost I've got to try and swallow somehow. You'll be pleased to know I'm all set up for the coppice season. We have some brand new bow saw blades, which is epic. And I also managed to get a brand new silky saw blade as well. So we're all ready for the new coppice season. And one of the things I wanted to get from the APF was a new bar and chain for the still MS261. And I'd done a rook of research into the, the light 04 bar and the narrow curved chain. Seems nobody at the APF have got any. So popped into masses. Lo and behold, got them on the shelf. So got me one of those. They only had the ch full chisel chain, which I don't like. So I know this is on its last legs, but that's what they call a full chisel chain. So this this side here is flat and the top is flat there's no curve in it of course if that point ever gets damaged you've lost the edge of your tooth so and they're also very fierce so the minute that that point grabs you get I find a lot of kickback so I'm not happy with that so that's the ignore my Charmin techniques but that's the full chisel chain so they made us up a semi chisel chain a Husqvarna one that fitted and I used it the other day and I'm really impressed with it my initial observations definitely picks up faster but the other thing I noticed was the fact that it doesn't snatch anywhere near as much so the chain would would snag and then you end up with it catch the clutch would engage and you can't seem to get it because it, it just jams up then but it's almost eliminated that and the whole kickback, if you catch it wrong, well, I've not used it in coppice yet with any significance, but my initial uh, thoughts on it was so much better. So for me, that was a worthy upgrade. And what I've decided to do is I've sold my old bar and chain on the auction site because I just can't see myself going back to it, to be honest. So this should be the semi chisel. So that has got, you can probably see on there, rounded edges which means you get more of a variable cutting edge in a way. I don't know that's the best way of describing it, but it feels significantly lighter than it does. And fair play to masses. Normally they were notorious for having really expensive equipment, but actually the bow saw blades were cheapest I could find anywhere, and they're the Barco ones. And the bar was £56 and it's £58 online, so the bar was cheaper. And the only thing that was more expensive was the chain. That was 25 quid instead of, you can get online for about 19 But all in, I thought that was a pretty good deal. I'm happy with it anyway. Got to stop spending now, I'm going to earn some pennies. So this is fairly straightforward conversion. New bar and chain with 1.3mm kerf, which means that... It means the bar is thinner, the chain is thinner, the bar is lighter, the chain is lighter, and it still takes the 4.8 millimeter file. So everything else is the same, no fi new file kit, everything else is exactly the same. On to the next little job. Got to peel some sweet chestnut. Got a little project on at home where I bought Karen's couple of plants. So next to the new outdoor kitchen, 
I want to put some couple of climbers up there. So I've got a climbing rose that's got a scent to it. It's quite nice. So I've got these two chestnut poles here. I'm going to peel them so that they last longer. They also look nicer than with bark on. A rogue laburnum flower in October. I decided to have a virtual clean the other day. It all happened brilliantly in my mind. Just um, these virtual cleans don't seem to do much in real life. As a percentage, I think today I'm on about 50%. <laughs> Feel great today. If you don't know what the percentage is, you might have to go on a previous wood log, but it's all to do with uh, how you put a percentage on your mental uh, well being for that day. By all means, comment below. I've stolen it, kind of, from Ollie's Blogs, which he's a, a tractor contractor. Tractor contractor. That's interesting, isn't it? Tractor contractor. Hmm, lots of tractors in there. First on the list, we're making some hazel panels this week. So I've got to prep the frames. So I'm just going to nip to the timber yard, get the timber, and then we'll prep the frames ready for that. There's about, let me think, there is seven, what, seven plus five. So 12 frames to make. If I can get all of the frames sorted today, that'd be nice. Going to sneeze now. You only get a sneeze and then don't come out. Feels like you've been cheated. First job is these six foot by three foot sixes, and I have to work out my cutting list. So I've got the top rails, bottom rails, side rails, and then the mid rails. I'm gonna work all that out. That gives me a cutting list. I can bang them together. <laughs>
yesterday was a little bit of a sprint to the finish to get our panels made so I've got these five done here and then I've got all the other seven done up the top of the garden so that was good that we got it done but with the weather it was torrential rain and I lost so much time trying to dodge the showers that uh, it was like just plow on and get it done get in have me tea quick that sets me up now ready for next week where we will be riving and splitting and weaving these panels so if you've not seen that before uh, by all means tune in next week for that I've done a lot on it before but it's just always nice to have a bit of background music and do a bit of weaving today's actually Saturday and I'm in the garden today Thank you. 